Welcome to Charm School. I'm Anna Griffin and this is our birdhouse easel dies made easy. When you think about a birdhouse and a birdhouse card, I think of creating a card for someone's new home, like a housewarming, or maybe it's a new apartment, our first apartment, or even a brand new baby at home. This die set is going to create a very memorable card. It's an easel set, so it's going to cut the card all in one pass, and then we have all kinds of dies to decorate the card. Now, an easel card looks like a normal card when you open it but then if you slide it up and back it will sit on the desktop of your recipient it's adorable and you know today it actually matches my shirt so we're going to create this by using our Empress machine our large plate system and papers that uh, I found in our craft room so you can use basically any paper set that you have. And one of the things when I like to start uh, with the large plates, I also like to use a, a double-sided paper or a paper that's going to provide some contrast to the back side of the easel. So we're using a stripe for this and we're just going to run that face down into the cardstock uh, and through the Empress machine. Now this is the part, this is the apparatus that creates the easel all in one pass. It's going to score the tab so that we can create the little house in the front and actually we could make an entire neighborhood with this set. So this is this is now our card and this is the part that folds down. Okay, so we have a double-sided cardstock. This is the tab that we're going to apply adhesive to and we'll decorate with the rest of the pieces. Now I'm going to slide this over and uh, as I work through these, we're going to just start building our pieces. And when you're choosing your papers, um, choose wisely. So for the base, you know, we had the stripe and so we have a coordinating metallic uh, lavender. We have a green dot for the roof of our birdhouse. And I actually own a little birdhouse that looks like this die. It has a copper roof, has a little white body. It was all made by hand, so beautiful. Uh, and it uh, has adorned many a tree in many a backyard. I've had a lot of houses. So um, to have the birdhouse be the constant, that's been very nice. So here we're going to leave our shadow layer and our roof that has been that has cut and embossed with that one die. This is adorable already. It looks like somebody has been decorating and feathering the nest. All right. So one last set of cuts to create all of the pieces. And now we're using a, a pretty floral paper for the face of the birdhouse. We're going back with some metallic uh, paper to create the um, roof and the base and the bird. And then there are elements in the die set that give you exactly what you need, which is uh, a little highlight around the hole and the bird and then the decoration on the face of the house. So mixing it up, putting different patterns together for all these pieces, you are going to have what we think is a fully decorated house. All right, so now we'll just remove our birdhouse. So pretty. Now I could go back through the machine with the, um, with the paper in the die with the rubber mat on top um, and removing the magnet mat to get even more detail from the face of that. Uh, so the embossing and the same goes for the roof. Um, you don't have to do it just in one pass. You can go back with your rubber mat now this is, I love this part of the die because right here, this is the bottom of the birdhouse and it's a little railing. It's like the front yard of the birdhouse. <laughs> and then we have all the pieces that can decorate the little house, including the bird itself. All right, now to assemble this card, we're going to take all of our pieces and we're going to, um, number one, we're going to decorate the, the base. And you'll see we've already started here. So I've got my stripe on the inside. I'm folding the card face forward. The adhesive goes on the tab face up. All right, 
And I'll talk a little bit more about the overlay in one second. So we're going from here to our shadow layer right on top. All right, and we want to we want to actually press down, and then we're going to pull back. All right, so the tab is going to function um, as an arm. All right. So just like that. And the base of this card, we have created a secondary uh, shadow layer for the birdhouse with the purple. Um, then there's a roof in the green with the bird and a little sentiment on the inside. But to decorate the face, this is so pretty. So we're going to take the floral, there's foam adhesive on the back of the birdhouse. The floral is going to go on top. Then we're going to come back with foam adhesive and our roof. And the little finial is so pretty. And now we want that little um, yard piece to give us definition at the bottom. And even the little decoration of the leaves and the pieces that go together right in the center to highlight that face. Now, I want to, I'm pretty sure I want to add a little flower or two into the garden. And I'm, I'm going to let the bird sit in the front yard <laughs> just to give it a little extra something. And you want to create a, a place for the card to actually sit at the base. So a sentiment that goes here. Um, you could add a sentiment to the face of the card. This one is for get well soon. A little birdie told me you weren't feeling well. <laughs> uh, you can really have a lot of fun with this. And so I have a few more to show you uh, that we've made with this set. And again, you'll get creative with the papers that you have in your craft room. And maybe you want a white house and a pink bird and roses in the front yard. Expand the face of the card with some hydrangea stickers or use the easel to create an entire environment uh, that was complete with trees and clouds. And that's beautiful in the birdhouse easel card making. <laughs>